What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Dota War Let's Play as France. So if you remember where we left off, um, I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to continue as um, Royalist France but in, or uh, sort of stoke this public uh, unrest to try to become um, Republic. And I've made my decision to remain royalist a because i think it makes it a bit trickier because my people will always be a bit more unhappy with me and b if i want to play republican france then i'll i want to i really want to do that in napoleon really because then you get all the proper blue uniforms and it just fits in so much more with a fluff of sharp um more so than anything that's principally why i want to play f france in napoleon and maybe in the future i might play as republican france but for now i think it'd be interesting to play as royalist because right now i've not really played as so, think, so uh, Prussia was a republic? Is Prussia a republic? So now I've played as... Oh, no, Prussia was an absolute monarchy. Oh, didn't realise that. Oh, I suppose a republic would make it be the um, classical German flag. Well, I was about to say I've not played as a republic, as a, um absolute monarchy. Um, I have, so... Change that to not playing one for a while. <laughs> but it just means I get to carry on what I'm doing let's fix this so what I am doing is having this army ready to ship over to um, the Americas I have this stack down here by Cairo ready to attack next turn and I need to invest a lot of money in fortifying this position so I can push into the Ottoman Empire actually it is tempting to take this stack and actually send it over to um, uh, Ceylon to take this region to open up A, T exports and also be a good sized uh, settlement to start to springboard into future attacks. Principally Bengal would be very good to take and also Katak because if I'm not going to knock out Britain if I'm not going to take Britain out of the game by attacking the British Isles yet then I'm going to do it via um, just taking their, their um, holdings on the continent. What that does mean is I need to invest significantly more in my navy. So in terms of technology, I think everything's okay for now. I need to build the new naval board to research more navy techs. Oh, speed up. Oh, and I've still got my... Oh yeah, so this fits in my way. still fits in my general plan of pushing the British back. We're capturing the British colonies. And I don't know if that will truly make them poor. Like, the AI always seems to still have money. Um, but what it does allow me to do is have make me have lots of money. So even if the AI disagrees and decides to not... You know, this is, so this is a question I've had with Empire for a while. Is can you actually conduct economic war against, um, against um, um, the AI? Does that actually work? I've not managed to test it out yet. Um... My gut feeling is no. Like, I can raid them and gain money, and it will say, oh, you've taken this much off their uh, economy. But it never actually goes to show... He never actually highlights, like... You know, you never know. You never know if the AI is kind of programmed to go, meh, if they take this income from you, actually, the true loss is only, you know, 15% of that. Why would I give you military technology? But let's see what tech you do have. Ah, I'm not giving you fire by rank. No way, Jose. I need to be conscious of Austria if they try to declare on me. Oh, yes, I will also resolve that. Yep, we'd storm Cairo. Probably first, next turn, so I can, before I do any investment, attack Cairo, capture it, build walls, because the Ottomans are... They can send stack after stack after stack, so we really need to be careful. Yes, go Louisiana. Push back north. Push back north. Take back your territory. Not that I'm going to get it, but... <laughs> oh, the Iroquois. So you can move up and destroy them as well. See, so this is the thing I need to really carefully balance my efforts. So it's tempting to take my fleet that's currently in Brest, actually send it off to a trade theatre and begin to start trying to get some money that way. But it will mean I need to spend some money 
in building some new ships to stay in the the uh, naturally occurring resources in this region workers on strike but exploited. development in these areas now will increase hmm. your nation okay so not mines yet oh, my garrison Savoy is recruiting so let's go to Cairo well first let's see what the garrison's like it might not be worth fighting yeah no I didn't realize it was so small Let's build walls, destroy the observatory, destroy the Patches Palace, rebuild the barracks and the cannon foundry. Is there anything that urgently needs to be knocked down? Nope, all the territories are still developing. I'll probably knock down the major fishery as well. Get that trade port up so I can start to ship out, ship out some of this cotton. Then let's do a bit of reinvestment. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about needing to send these chaps. So let's knock that out actually for now. Let's get them over to Jamaica. Get this unit of auxiliary into the port to garrison it. Ooh, dear, because they lost their general. Ooh, bad idea. Well, it's supposed to be quite friendly with lots of fleets around this area. Yep, I'd like to knock them out, knock out Martinique, and knock out the Bahamas, and then own the, Bal own the Baltic. Not Baltic. Uh, Caribbean, but I'd also need to build a... Huh. So if the Louisiana takes that territory, then the... Oh no, the, the, the Sweden? That's super frustrating. Oh, I, I remember now. So they're moving on Maine, then down to Boston. This army up here will come up and around. And will attack. Crazy horse. Medicine men, which are scary. Melee attack 14. 6. Let's fight. I've got the artillery, I've got the, got the cavalry, so I, need, I do need to um, keep this battle going on for a bit longer and mow them down. Let's have a bit of scotch. Mm. Right. Whew. Keep my artillery on the flanks unlimbered. Because I don't I want to move up. Um, but at the same time I don't want to. I want to move up, but at the same time I don't want to be too far out of my line. Because you know how these Native Americans can get. Okay, let's add one more unit of line in there to extend the to extend the battle line out, the full three ranks. This Hessian units go up one flank. I have Hessian and militia and rangers up the left flank because it's a bit more scrubby. Critically turn off fire by rank and send get ready to send cavalry up the flanks. And then a unit of pikes behind the artillery to move up. I think that sounds like a good idea. Oh nuts. Limber you up. My main battle line. Trouble is, they can move very stealthily. So as I'm moving my battle line up, I'm going to want to run them. Because I'm not going to want them to be mobile for too long. Concerning that I don't know where any of them are. Let's 
hoping they'd show themselves. So they're going to be creeping up on me. Keep an eye to make sure no one's being shot at. So turned on firewall in case their general fancies a go at charging. Move up my cavalry, see if I can provoke them into. From close, see if I can provoke them into moving their battle line. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're advancing. Or well, this section of it is. So then this flank, move up. Still fully in the knowledge that I don't know where they are. American bowmen. Run up these units of infantry. Fall them back. There they all are. Oh, holy moly. Charge into the medicine men while they're isolated. Come on, Coré de Bois. Importantly, let's get the patented flank on, because they're currently in a rubbish position. back. Yep, the cavalry's being swarmed. Canister shot. It's great to charge my cavalry into that unit of native bowmen. them in. Oh, I see you. They're going to chew up my Skirmishes, but that's what happens.
general charge, except I'm going to click my skirmishes off to get them back out. chasing down that bowman unit. They're getting shot at but I can manage that. These guys run back. These guys have Adam I suppose. Nice militia shooting into the back of my there we go. General, let's get you over here. Warriors, medicine men. Priority target, so you're in. You're in. They're all in on that unit of bowmen, so that should be a bit of a massacre. Commit these guys, where's my general? Smash into the rear of them. No way, I see that unit of standing still cavalry. Pretty. Ooh, they might even be able to finish the unit off just by a foot unit. Oh no, I've got a cavalry unit selected. My general. Good, get my general to them. Continue, I need to wipe out as many as I can. On the lonesome medicine man, got him. I hit this this group of medicine men. This is how you win against the natives. You get them to fight their own. Ooh, it'd be ideal if I could knock out these two bowmen. It's colonial light. Chop done. So let's send you That's actually frustrating because there's so many Maybe that uh, maybe those single units by themselves may may decimate themselves. Strike them down. Get onto that unit of two Native American bowmen. Done. May as well send you over there, I suppose. Speed up time. Because ultimately I'm going to run out of targets before I run out of cavalry. Oh, if you've... Halt. Nope, too late. I was wondering if I could, uh, if they had time to fire a volley into that troop. There you go, then comb all my cavalry at the end to hit this 
Garrison native bowmen and speed up time. This is what happens to native bat native armies once you get a. Uh, once you have superior firepower, once you stop having regular round shot, that's what happens. Mainly fire by rank. You saw how much fire they poured on all those troops, and the artillery didn't even do a big didn't even do a big job. Cool, 148 remaining. So just a little raiding force. Frustrating, but not a deal breaker. So if anything, I might move up to this hill. I can't reinforce anyone for two, two francs. Okay, excellent. So I think socket bayonet gives me one year infantry. Okay, so let's test this. Melee attack six. So next turn, I want to see what impact socket bayonets actually have on the stats of regular infantry. You must flee. Oh, thank God. They flee to the right spot. It's oh, the British Navy's back. So my, right now my place in Europe is secure. I'm at peace with Prussia. I'm allied with the Austrians and the Swedes. Um, but that won't last forever. Eventually Austria will want to have its wicked way. In which case I will crush them. I'll strike south from my army in, Dres in Berlin straight down to Dresden. Capture a large population centre right off the bat. Heck, maybe even become allies with the Prussians to fight the Austrians. Look okay, there, the Ottomans are raiding my territory. Yeah, right now I've got a nice solid coalition here within within Europe. Oh, poor Louisiana. Good. After that absolute smashing, the Ottomans have retreated back to their back to when whence they came. All Italian states. Sorry, there's a fly flying around my face. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations Camel here gunners. will increase your nation's export capacity. Four strong elite units. Let's treat them back. Repair, replenish. Ooh, did I? Oh no, I didn't. Didn't select all my troops. Cool. So let's do some cheap upgrades. Magistrate, conservatorium, new guns, new barracks. Critical upgrades. You, trade port. Let's get some export going. And you have not great roads. I'm not going to worry about that until I get more export capacity out of the port. Um, roads is a big deal. Dana is developing, which is up here. I'll probably recruit a Catholic missionary, or get a seminary, whatever. However it is pronounced, I forget. Ah, so I can't check on these guys because these are all highly elite. I have to go to... Oh, these are the guys just put down the rebellion. Oh, my bog standard infantry. Where's bog standard? They're elite as well. Men attack eight. Oh, good. So it does make a defense jump, a difference. It jumps up from six to eight. Cool. Um, firstly, not bothered about wedge or cadence marching, even though they get me Irish exiles, Scottish exiles. Um, I need to get. I need to start uh, being able to fight the British. 
Minus 10 recruitment cost. That sounds like a good one to do. Campaign match speed also looks good, but recruitment is my big issue. If I'm trying to expand my navy quickly, that's what I'm bothered about the most. So, let's ship. First is promote an admiral. Admiral, two, two fourths, three fifths, and a privateer, and a sixth. To go have a look at the East Africa Trade Theatre, because I'm looking for. Oh, I've even put my admiral in there. <laughs> you go join them, buddy. I want to try and capitalise on the iron ivory trade, even though that's the same as spices. Okay, Navy recruitment. Can't really recruit anything except for a privateer. Brig, sloop, sloop, sloop. Oh, yeah. Happiness buildings. Fix the farm. Yeah, they're not going to hate me for too long. And let's see what I can repair. Send this gorilla up here. Got my church schools. So they're slowly becoming Catholic. Good. But the Netherlands is still changing. But I need to keep him here because I don't have a I don't have a church building, and I need to get that religious unrest down quite severely. Cool. What I might do is actually move a handful of militia into Amsterdam. There you go, just add a bit of garrison repression. And also it's a bit of a garrison if anyone tries to attack me. Cool, right. Everything's okay. How can I fix anyone's diplomacy? Poland. Let's not fight. Oh no, Russia. Let's not fight. I'm not going to give you the Leeward Islands. Nope. Not happening. Barbary States. Let's not fight. I'm not going to give you Hanover. <laughs> Persia, I don't mind. Portugal. Portugal's a shame. Cool. Right. Let's hit end turn. Oh, I'm attacking Maine, but I'm not going to fight that <laughs> good starting to solidify my position on the continent if anything it's tempting once i take boston to try force peace with the british no i need to capture their islands in the caribbean what am i talking about which i didn't do that turn i didn't ship the army out from jamaica and actually attack uh, the mughal empire colony then again, it might be tempting to leave them there. Because if they've got a colony, they, the AI seems to be happy with it and leaves it alone. Whereas if I try to own the entire continent, um, they'll keep dropping off stacks of troops. Which means I either have to garrison them or have a stack ready to respond. Which is okay, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather have my assets free up to do war fighting at this early stage. John. Oh, Pueblo Nations. Yeah, things seem to be going to be going okay. Genoa's not screwing me over, even though they could. They could definitely try. They keep shipping their forces overseas, so it means they can't build up in their own territory, which is ex excellent. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. There you go. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes or. Trades gained. Rumours of cowardice from this guy, Emery de Moura de Mires. Plus two to command during ambushes. 
good. Don't want to build colleges just yet. At least not without building you. And you. And then I can build colleges. Let's keep that tech. Where's my other university? Oh, it's the one in the Amsterdam. Do I not have two in France? Down here. See, because I remember where Bordeaux is on a map. Good. Maine is captured. And then this army, even though you're mildly depleted, push right on. Oh, it's not even worth fighting either. Push right on and hit Boston. Now, this is a big deal. Boston's a small town. I never realized how small it was, actually. But it's a good stepping point on to Philadelphia. So we can get Philadelphia. I've broken the back of the British rule in the Americas. Metal roads, eh? That's fascinating. Okay, let's go down here to this navy. Sail them in. Take them back. Good. But I've got no money. And I ran out of time looking at the uh, turn counter. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.